Hello everyone and welcome back to my class. Today in this video I will cover class 8 maths chapter number 9 exercise 9.5 question number 1 simplify. So till question number 4 we have completed isn't it. So today here I will cover from question number 5. So here it is given simplify. A square minus B square then again whole square is given is it and we have how many identities so in the starting i have given four identities to learn so where we have to use that identity while solving exercise question isn't it so here you can see a square minus b square then whole square is there that, that means we can use the second identity isn't it what is the second identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square isn't it so we have to use this identity isn't it second number identity we have to use so a is equal to what a square isn't it so from the identity a is equal to a square and b is equal to what b square so in the formula what we have we have a square minus b square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so instead of a square what we have to write a square then again whole square okay so a square then again in the inside the bracket we have to give whole square because two square is there so we have to put bracket then minus 2ab so what is a a is a square so a square then again what is b b is b square so 2 a b is done then again plus b square so b is what b square isn't it b square then again whole square so we have to give 2 square here now when you will break this you will get a to the power 4 again minus 2 a square b square plus a to the power oh, sorry plus b to the power 4 isn't it so this is the answer for question number 1 so in this way we have to use the identity so it is very important to learn all the identities now second you can see here it is given what 2x plus 5 whole square then again minus then again 2x minus 5 whole square so the, uh, in this second question which identity we can use so we can use here so here when you will see this, this expression this is what 2x plus 5 whole square that means we can use the first identity isn't it that is what a plus b whole square identity now again second one you can see 2x minus 5 whole square that means here we have to use the second identity this one is first identity okay first identity and this one will be second identity because minus is there that means a minus b whole square so we have to use these two identity okay a minus b whole square and for another a plus b whole square now this part this expression we will break according to this identity isn't it so what is a value a value is 2x and b value is what 5 so a square means 2x whole square plus 2ab now 2 is 2 and a is what 2x and b is 5 then again plus b square so what is the value of b b is now 5 isn't it so 5 whole square then again minus now for the second expression we have to put this bracket okay square bracket we have to put now after square bracket what is the a value a value is 2x isn't it so 2x whole square minus 2ab now what is a value a value is 2x and b value is b so minus 2ab plus b square so what is the b square value b square is 5 so 5 square now you have to break all this now when you will break this 2x whole square means 4x square isn't it now when you will multiply all this number 2 to the 4 and 4 5 the 20 x again plus 5 5 the 25 now again the uh, for this term now we have to put in in the square bracket because here minus is there in the outside so we have to put this in square bracket okay now when you will solve all this you will get 4x square minus 20 x plus 25 now we have to open this bracket okay when you will open this bracket this minus will Will multiply with all the terms now minus 4 minus multiply 4x you will get minus 4x isn't it now minus minus will become plus 20x then again minus plus will become minus 25x now what we can do we can collect the like term so you can see here this is what 4x and here also 4x but one is positive one is negative that means this two will become what zero isn't it because 4x square minus 4x square will be zero because they are like term now second like term is what for, uh, 20x and 20x both are positive isn't it if, if both are positive then it will become plus so it will become 20x isn't it now what are the constant constant you can see plus 25 and minus 25 we know plus and minus is what minus isn't it so 25 minus 25 is zero so what is the remaining answer 
40x is the remaining answer okay hope you have understood so in this way we have to use the identities okay so which identity is applicable you have to use that one now come to next question question number three so question number three you can see what is given here 7m minus 8n whole square isn't it so for this question what we can use we can use the second identity minus 1 isn't it so again this one second expression we can see 7 m plus 8n so this is in plus that means a plus b whole square formula we have to use in this question so what you will do for the first uh, first expression you will use the second identity and you will solve this one and again for the second expression you will use the first identity and you will solve just like question number two you will solve and question number four is also same now here you can see what is given 4m plus 5n whole square then again plus 4m uh, 5m plus 4n whole square that means both you have to use the first identity and you have to solve isn't it after solving you have to collect the like term and last what will be remain so that will be the answer so now i will solve question number five okay question number five i will solve now question number uh, five is given 2.5 p minus 1.5 q whole square that means we have to use the second identity okay now again again minus is there so if minus is there then uh, while solving when we will express them when we will factor them factorize them then we have to use what square bracket then again 1.5 p minus 1 point oh, sorry 2.5 q whole square we have to use the second identity okay let's see the solution of this question so here we can see uh, which identity we have to use so we have to use the second identity a minus b whole square formula we have to use okay now what is the value of a a is equal to 2.5 and b is equal to 1.5 isn't it so we have to use this formula now now this is a isn't it and this is b now a square means 2.5 p whole square then minus 2 a b so what is 2 2 is 2 isn't it a is what 2.5 p then b is what 1.5 q then next what b square so what is b square b square is 1.5 q whole square not that it minus is there so minus then again here it is minus isn't it so we have to put this square bracket okay we have to put square bracket after that now in the second expression what is the value of a a is equal to 1.5 p isn't it so a is equal to 1.5 p so a square means 1.5 p whole square minus 2 a b now 2 is 2 and a value is what 1.5 p and again b value uh, b value is what 2.5 q then plus b square so b square is what 2.5 q whole square now we have to break this one isn't it so now ne next step 2.5 square means what 2.5 into 2.5 isn't it so when you will solve this you will get what 6.25 p square suppose i will multiply 2.5 multiply with 2.5 5 isn't it so 5 5 is a 25 first we will skip the uh, while doing multiplication we will just skip the decimal and we will multiply it okay first now 5 5 is a 25 2 is carry 5 2 is a 10 plus 2 is what 12 and 2 5 is a 10 1 is carry 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 5 isn't it so what we are getting 5 2 6 now after decimal how many digits will be there 2 isn't it so in the first one it is 1 and second one 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so before 2 digit we have to put decimal so what we got 6.25 p square so in the same way now uh, the second one is what 2 multiply 2 a b isn't it so 2 multiply 2.5 multiply 1.5 sorry when you will multiply this when you will multiply this you will get 7.5 pq then again plus 1.5 whole square means you will get 2.25 q square so in the same way second one also when you will open you will get 2.25 p square minus 7.5 pq plus 6.25 q square now ne next step we have to open this bracket isn't it so while opening this bracket this minus will multiply with all the terms all three terms isn't it so first one if it will min uh, multiply with minus it will become negative now again minus and minus will become plus now minus and plus will become what minus isn't it so now we have to collect the like term so this is p square and this is p square isn't it and this is q square and this is q square so when you are solving these two question now one is positive one is negative then what we have to do we have to do minus isn't it so when you will do minus 6.25 minus 2.25 you will get 4 p square okay when you will do minus you will get what 4 p square then again for q square also 
you can see this is in plus and this is minus isn't it this is plus and this is minus so when uh, so which is greater now 2.25 is greater or 6.25 6.25 isn't it minus is greater so we have to put minus sign here now when you will subtract you will get 4q square then what is the remaining variable minus 7.5 pq and plus 7.5 pq now both are same both are like term and one is negative one is positive that means they will become what this two will become zero so plus zero means no need of writing isn't it so what is the answer our answer is 4 phi square minus 4 q square is the required answer for this solution so hope you have understood now come back to the questions so i will erase all this uh, go, write down this in your notebook now or you can take the screenshot or you can push my video and you can complete the notes after that come to the next video now question number 6 is given AB plus BC whole square isn't it AB plus BC whole square that means we can use the first identity isn't it now again second one is given only one term isn't it so no need of using any identity for this so it will remain same 2AB square C isn't it 2AB square C minus 2AB square C it will remain same only this one we have to use the first identity isn't it so when you will use the first identity so what is the value of A A is equal to AB and what is the value of B B is equal to BC now A square means AB square isn't it and 2AB 2AB means 2 multiply with AB multiply with BC then again plus B square so B square means what BC square then again what is there minus 2 a b square c is there now which identity we are using we have to write down okay in every question which identity you ha you are writing in exam also which identity you are using you have to write that identity okay now when you will solve a b square means what square is for a also and for b also so a square b square now plus now here you can see only single a isn't it and how many b is there two b is there that means it will become what b square isn't it and how many c is there only single c so two a b square c now next b c whole square means what b square c square now again what is remaining minus two a b square c now you can see there is no like term for this value and there is no like term for this value also but for this you can see this like and this is what a like term isn't it because here variables are same what are the variable a b square c now constant coefficients are also same that means coefficients are same means if one is positive one is negative then it will become what zero okay if their coefficients are, are also same and they are like term and one is in positive and one is negative that means it will become zero so what is remaining a square b square plus b square c square is remaining understood so in this way you will solve question number six also so but question number six you have to use here second identity which identity a minus b whole square identity you have to use okay after that you have to, you have to see is there any like term is there any like term then you have to solve it out simplify it out and that will be your answer so question number seven is your homework okay seven is your homework just you will do like question number six but here you will use the second identity so this is homework for you now come to next question now next question so that so that means we have to so that they are equal okay 3x plus 7 whole square minus 84x is equal to 3x minus 7 whole square. Now we have to show that these two equations are equal. Okay. So uh, we will solve them by taking first we will take left hand side or we uh, right hand side then we will make them equal okay so that means we have to prove that both means this equation is same okay this is equation isn't it equal is given that means this is equation so what is given 3x plus 7 whole square minus 84x now this is what left hand side isn't it that means 3x plus 7 whole square so we have to use the first identity here isn't it we will use the first identity here so if you will use the first identity here that means this is what a and this is b now a square means 3x whole square plus 2ab so 2 then ab is 3x and b is 7 isn't it again plus 7 whole square and minus what is remaining 84x now when you will solve this you will get 9x square plus now when you will multiply all this how much you will get 3 to the 6 and 6 7 so 6 7 so 42 isn't it 
42x you will get. So we are getting 42x again plus 7 square is equal to 49, isn't it? 7 square is equal to 49. Then again minus what is there? 84x minus what? 84x. Now, when you, this and this is what like term, isn't it? Both the variable is x. That means we can solve. So minus 84n plus 42x is there. So plus and minus is what? Minus. So if you will do minus, then you will get 42. But sign will be what? Negative, isn't it? Why sign will be negative? Because we have to put the greater number sign. So which is greater here? 48 is greater. So 48 is in negative. So 42 will be also in negative. So for left hand side, we got this one, isn't it? So here you will write LHS, okay? This is left hand side. So for left hand side, we got this one. Now right hand side. You can see what is given 3x minus 7 whole square. That means we have to use the second identity here, isn't it? A minus B whole square identity. So what is the A value? A value is 3x whole square minus now 2AB plus again B square. So when you will break this 3 to the how much? 9, isn't it? 9x square minus now 3, now 2 3 the 6, 6 7 the 42 plus again 7. Now you can see this is equal to this equation isn't it that means right, left hand side is equal to right hand side because when we are solving both the expression both the equation separately then we are getting same that means we are proof so you can write hands hands proof lhs is equal to uh, rhs isn't it now come to next question Now ne next question is given, question number 2, 8, sorry, 9p minus 5q whole square plus 180pq is equal to 9p plus 5q whole square, isn't it? So we have to show that this equation is equal. So first we will take left hand side, isn't it? So left hand side is given what? 9p minus 5p whole square. So for the first we can use the second identity, isn't it? A minus b whole square identity. So when you will use this, this is a square. So 9p whole square minus 2ab. So what is the value of a? a is 9p and b is 5p. Then again plus b square. So b square means what? 5q whole square and minus what is remaining 180pq is remaining so when you will solve this one 9981p square then minus 2 into 9 into 5 you will get 90pq then 5 5 is a 25q and what is remaining 180pq now when you will collect the like term you can see which are the like term here Na, uh, minus 90pq and plus 180pq is like term isn't it both are like term so one is plus and one is minus then what we have to do we have to do the subtraction so if you will subtract 180 minus 90 you will get 90pq now from uh, we have to compare both the terms so which is greater here 180 is greater so 180 is in positive so answer will be in positive so what value we got for lhs we got this value okay now come to rhs so what what is given in the rhs rhs is given 9p plus 5p whole square that means we have to use the first identity isn't it so 9p whole square plus 2ab so we are putting the value of 2ab so 2ab a is what 9p and b is 5q and b square is equal to 5q whole square now when you will break this 9 9 are 81 now 2 into 8 into 5 is equal to 90 pq plus 5 square is equal to 25 and q square is equal to q square. Now you can see what we got for LH, RHS, RHS we got this one. Now when you will compare RHS and LHS they are equal. So hands proof. So LHS is equal to RHS. So you can write hands proof. Okay. Hands proof. So in this way you have to solve. Now come back to the third question. So third question is given what 3 upon sorry 4 upon 3 m minus 3 upon 4 n whole square. So they are in fraction isn't it. So number are in fraction coefficients are fraction but don't worry we have to use the same identity okay. What identity here you will use second one because this is in minus so we have to use a minus b whole square identity. Then plus 2 mn is given is equal to 16 upon 9 m square plus 9 upon 16 n square so let us solve this question now first we have to take left hand side isn't it lhs so what is given in the lhs
So I have solved question number one, two, and three, isn't it? So four and five I will keep as a homework. So four and five is your homework, okay? So this one also you will solve, and you will uh, you will find they are equal or not, okay? Please try to solve this uh, two question. Any doubt you can ask me in the same way. You have to solve, okay? Just you have to solve this one, and you have to find either it is equal to RHS or not, okay? Now come to next question. So in this video I will cover till question number 5. So in the next video I will come with the next question of this exercise 9.5. So thank you all of you for watching my video. And if you like my video then please do like and subscribe to my channel. And also share it with your friends. So thank you all of you. And bye bye and see you soon in the next video.